Recently, Russia has been aggressively developing new high-powered aviation engines. One of the most promising ideas in this field is the PD-26 engine, which is a derivative of the technology previously developed for the powerful PD-35 aircraft engine. However, as First Deputy Prime Minister Denis Menturov told TASS in an interview, the project has undergone substantial changes. The new engine's thrust will be 26 tons, rather than 35 tons, as originally envisaged. The United Engine Corporation, or UEC, began testing PD-35, a technology demonstrator, in 2021. The engine successfully completed its first phase of testing on an open test stand, demonstrating 35 tons of thrust, making it the most powerful turbofan engine on Russian soil. Initially, UEC proposed using the PD-35 to power the Russian-Chinese joint project wide-body aircraft CR-929. This airliner was designed as an alternative to Western competitors in the medium- and large-capacity long-haul aircraft market. However, the Chinese partners selected the path of extensive international cooperation, resulting in Russia's exit from the CR-929 program in 2023. In this way, the PD-35 engine project, which is intimately tied to the CR-929, has virtually been halted. The cancellation also eliminated the possibility of placing these engines on the Russian heavy passenger aircraft IL-96 in a two-engine configuration. Such an aircraft will not be redesigned for the PD-35. Given the circumstances, Russia has focused on a modified power unit, the PD-26. First Deputy Prime Minister Mantarov indicated that this engine will have a thrust of 26 tons. Despite having less thrust than the PD-35, the PD-26 offers a wide range of uses. The PD-26 will serve as the basic power unit for a potential military transport aircraft capable of carrying cargo of up to 100 tons. Choosing engines with 26 tons of thrust presents the best balance of power and fuel efficiency, which is crucial for big transport aircraft. Apart from military applications, the PD-26 can also be used in civil aviation. In August 2025, the United Aircraft Corporation, or UAC, patented a design for a wide-body, long-haul passenger plane capable of carrying up to 320 passengers over distances of up to 13,600 kilometers, depending on the version. According to official patent data, this aircraft builds on the design principles developed during the CR-929 project. Nonetheless, building such an aircraft in the near future is doubtful. However, the new concept impresses with its features and design, imitating the well-known Boeing 787 Dreamliner and, according to preliminary calculations, outperforming its American counterpart in several metrics. But there is still hope for PD-35, as Denis Manturov had said that the aircraft will be powered by an engine from 26 to 35 tons. Despite positive projections and patent innovations, issues concerning the continued competitiveness of Russian engines and aircraft in the global aviation business remain open. The development of new models with current materials, composites, and technologies necessitates significant time and financial expenditure. The exact timings for the appearance of these machines in metal and in the sky remain unknown. Another intriguing direction for the PD-26 is to upgrade the engines of the AN-124 Ruslan cargo plane. It is now powered by D-18T engines made in Zaporizhia, with a thrust of around 23.5 tons each. However, these power plants are increasingly reaching the end of their service life and must be replaced. Using the PD-26, which has 26 tons of thrust, might considerably improve the capabilities of these outstanding aircraft by increasing specific power and efficiency. However, in practice, coordination and complicated change will be difficult, requiring significant time and technical resources. We're talking about a lengthy and complicated process that includes rigorous testing and certification. Furthermore, today's market conditions and political economic variables put additional challenges to the establishment of such programs. Aside from aircraft uses, the PD-26 engine is intended for use in ground-based energy systems. 
This application is economically viable and significantly widens the range of applications for innovative gas turbine units. Aviation engines power ground energy systems, offering the mobility and power needed in various industrial and energy sectors. The usage of aviation gas turbine engines in stationary power plants is a modern approach for increasing efficiency and dependability. The PD-35 project leaves conflicting impressions. On the one hand, the engine represented a technological accomplishment, confirming Russia's ability to create a turbofan engine with a thrust of 35 tons, a record feat. However, economic and political realities have shifted the plans, and the primary attention is now on the PD-26. In light of shifting geopolitics and economic challenges, the PD-26 engine has emerged as a critical component in the restoration of the domestic heavy aviation fleet, both military and civil. The PD-26 is a multi-purpose and strategically vital unit due to its use in big military transport aircraft, potential passenger airliners, and ground-based energy facilities. However, several issues remain unresolved. Time, technology, and capital are necessary to bring the power plant into serial manufacturing and operational readiness. An essential issue will be the expansion of Russian industrial cooperation and the development of contemporary aircraft programs capable of competing in the global market. Progress in aviation engine development demonstrates the country's technological potential and ensures independence in high-tech aircraft manufacture. The future of the Russian heavy aviation engine and the aircraft constructed on its platform is heavily reliant on how well present problems are overcome and scientific and technological potential is fulfilled. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.